I'm Andrew Tursky, head of tour content for GolfWX.com. Before every PGA Tour event, I go out to talk to the players about what clubs they have in the bag and why. For the most part, they're playing either high-end custom clubs or the newest possible products. But not all the clubs are new or custom. Sometimes they're playing with used clubs that are actually available to you for a high value. They're about five to 10 years old, sometimes even older. I call these clubs the modern classic. All right, here's an awesome one. Adam's Idea Pro, Tour Prototype, Bernhard Longer, two-time Masters champion, still to this day is playing this hybrid. What do you got on this? I'll tell you what, um, it, it was very interesting with those. Everybody was trying to match those after they came out. Right. And um, every manufacturer was like, hey, this is just as good as the Adams. This club is hot off the face. It feels soft. It definitely stands up like distance wise compared to a modern hybrid. The only thing I'll say is if you're like me and you're nervous about over hooking a hybrid, this probably isn't going to fix it. But if you're more in that range of like a five handicap up to a 12 handicap and you're working on getting that ball to turn over right to left, this thing is absolutely money. It goes really far and you're getting it for an absolute steal. Now, obviously, it has a little unique look from the top with the two-tone and a little bit more offset than most of the modern hybrids. A lot of the modern hybrids are built for a little bit more fade bias. Um, now, back in the day, they actually worked pretty heavily with pros getting exactly the look that they wanted. But at that time, there was a lot of offset in hybrids and they were definitely super draw biased. This was kind of the most fade biased option on the market at the time and definitely set the tone going forward just for engineering in general on hybrids. All right, Cliff, Adam's Idea Pro, two of them in Bernhard Longer's bag, two-time Masters champion, no big deal. This is a classic, a modern classic, and we got some numbers up. So my first takeaway was that it was a little bit more draw bias, but definitely hot and it felt good. What are you seeing? Well, when I'm looking at the numbers, I like the increase in speed between that hybrid and that four iron that you play with. Mm -hmm. So I think that the speed it's putting up is excellent and the height is really good. When we're going into the spin rates, um, you know, the average of the spin rate at 3964 is great. There's a little bit of a dispersion as you go from shot to shot. So, you know, every now and then if you're 260 yards out and you don't flush it, you might have a little pitch shot, but for the most part, that is a club that is gonna do what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you're 250, 260, you hit it, and uh, you're probably gonna be right around, uh, right around the green you're aiming at every time. Is so that launch angle club. about what we're looking for? Well, you know, the launch and the spin we always want to combine. So when you're launching it that high, having a spin rate around 4,000, maybe even just a shade under, mm -hmm. is really good. If you were to be a 10 degree launch, we'd probably want to see 45 or 46. So it pairs up nicely, the spin and the launch together mm -hmm. for the how you swing the club. And we see that. Um, uh, throughout the bag with you, that you're a little higher launch and a little lower spin when you hit the shot you like the best. So it would be a good club. Okay. When I look at the side spin, like my concern was a little bit over hooking it. Is that concerning to you? You know what? We're doing a down and dirty test inside. Yeah. I'd say get that out on the golf course and see how it plays. Okay. Because you may find that, you know, it, it does something a little different when you're out there mm -hmm. and you got to take it and see what it does. But that Adams, uh, you know, hybrid was just such a classic. Yeah. And when you say Bernhard had two in the bag, mm -hmm. um, so did Ricky Fowler at one point when he was in high school and starting college and he'd hit the lower loft into the wind and the higher loft downwind and nobody could beat him on those longer holes. Wow. It was really good. That's some nice insight right yep. there. A true modern classic. 
So I was definitely very impressed with this club. I gave it an 8.9. It didn't quite reach into that nine scale because of the look from the top. It's just not as clean as a modern hybrid. It's not something I would go onto the modern market, like the current market of hybrids. If this was sitting on the rack, I probably wouldn't choose it over everything else. But the fact that it performs so well and it feels so good, so soft and strong on this hits, gotta go with the 8.9. This definitely still holds up. We got the TaylorMade Rocket Balls RBZ Tour Head. 